Hi, I'm Ahmed and in this video we're going to be discussing about MJL or Medina Jumeirah Living by Miraz. So this is a fairly old community. It's not like a new launch or anything. They have a lot of buildings there already. For those of you who live in Dubai, you all obviously know the amazing location it has. Number one thing about MJL is the location, the prime neighborhood that it's located in. Uh, most people know the only seven star hotel in the world, Burj Al Arab. This is right. This community is right in front of that hotel. Okay, it's located in Jumeirah, but it's a very, very prime location. And in matter of fact, in that location, most areas, most plots, most buildings, not up for freehold. This is one of the freehold communities that is available in Jumeirah, and of course by one of the great developers, as we all know, Miras. Now, for those of you who haven't watched our "Why You Should Buy Miras" video, of course they're the ones behind Blue Waters Island, Ain Dubai, Bulgari Island, City Walk as well. It's all by Miras. So they bring a certain design ethos, a certain quality, a certain boutique finish that they have. They have also bought that into MJL. That's the second thing about MJL is the iconic architecture. So instead of you know going something with you know, something that's very modern or something, they decided to go back with the heritage of Dubai. Of course, a lot of you know Dubai was a pearl diving. It was like a port, free port. So they pay tribute to that old style architecture, that iconic architecture. But if you look at it now, the recent phases that have come out, you know, in the past, they have been modernized. So the reason for that is the portion that is right in front of Burj Al Arab. Those were the first buildings that came out and they are very iconic style, traditional style architecture. And as we move backwards all the way into the Sheikh Zayed Road, which is like the central, you know, big road in Dubai, it modernizes. So they've shown and they've created this, you know, beautiful, iconic uh, motif. You can say that starts from classic, traditional, where the roots of was Dubai, and now moving slowly, slowly to the modern city metropolis that Dubai is today. Moving on, again, it's a community that offers a lifestyle. You know, it's got all-encompassing amenities. Every cluster is a, basically a cluster within itself. We have pools, we have gyms, we have, of course, we have security. We have all these things that you have come to expect from any master plan developer, be it Imar, Miras, all these guys. And of course, if Miras is on, on top of their game, they have delivered, they have maintained, they have construction buildings over there and in other projects that are over 10 years old and you can't really tell the age of that building because it's so well maintained and all these facts. Lastly, of course, it is a great investment potential because this project is coming to an end. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, it's not a new project. They've had a lot of launches there. As a matter of fact, we'll go over the master plan in a future video when they do have a new launch, which will most likely coming up very soon. They have named each of the buildings after the horses of Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, who's the ruler of Dubai. So uh, they have a racing team called Blue Dolphin. All of their successful horses have been, buildings have been named after those horses. We have Asile, we have Jatil, Jumana, all these names, you know, there are a lot of buildings over there. So most likely there will be a launch coming there soon. Of course, we'll make another video when the details come out for an in-depth review of MJL, why it's a great investment opportunity. And of course, look, as I mentioned, this is one of the only freehold areas that is available in Jumeirah. Okay. Most of it around is not up for freehold. So there will not be other developments. The development is coming to the end of its phase. We have maybe uh, maximum four or five six or eight buildings left uh, in clusters. So every time they do release, they usually do release three, four buildings. So we might have a couple of launches remaining until this community is completely done, completely sold out. There's no other area for development. So you can imagine, of course, the appreciation is going to be great. The rental income is, of course, already great right now from all the buildings that are ready. So in the future, you can imagine they will only be increasing. So this was just a quick, short video about Medina Jumeirah living. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now. And you can conveniently reach out to me directly on my WhatsApp by scanning the QR code at the top right corner.